Caleb Eugene Bilsma, Cameron Ammon Bullon, Fatima Avila, Hunter Cox, Sage Belknap, Samantha Barney, and Samuel Reese's Brooks, Weston Chase Salm Anderson, Sarah Ruby Cruz. I'm Courtney Danzi. Juan Diego Delgado Martinez. Logan Farnsworth. Michael Fotu. Alexi Hunsaker. Austin Keith Isle. Uh, Casey Hagen. Julissa Herrera. Juliet Herrera. Kaylee Gonzalez. Xavier Logan. Jasmine Ledesma. Jesse Lodgewan. Nicholas Kilgore. Nahea Leomi Timo. Rachel Johnson. <laughs> Angel Francisco Ortiz Gamboa. Eliza Myers. Gabriel Miller. Jeremy Matthew. Isabella Marino. Carter Lewis Miranda. Jessica Tato. Carter Jerome Roosh. Socorro Michelle Peters. My name is Gabriel Samniego. James Darren Smith. Ashley Zavala. Chevy Velasquez. Scout Young. Uh, because the old school that I went to wasn't meant for me, it wasn't fitting. It, they, the faculty were really bullying of the students, I believe, and so I just didn't like it there. Um, because I felt like I didn't really have a place in public high schools, I felt like this was really the only place for me, and it turned out to be a good decision. <laughs> um, I came to East Hollywood because it's different from public schools, and I really struggled at public schools. Um, I didn't learn. Um, I wasn't getting as much help from the teachers like I do here, and I couldn't fully express myself. I actually heard about it on the radio, and it was like an alternative school, and I came to EHHS because of the weird opportunities here, and just like the weirdness of the school in general. It was just the most inviting school I've ever been to. My best friend's sister actually told me to come here. I gave it a shot. I love this school, and so that's what brought me here. It's taught me that right here you have so many friends that help you when you're in your lowest lows. And it also teaches you that you can just be yourself. I think loyalty, to be honest, because the friendships here and the relationships with the teachers. Like, not just school-wise, but like life-wise. Like, they teach you a lot of things. And like, you come here every day and you learn something new. You never leave the school without like, um, not learning something new, so. How we're like a big family we're like there for one another and drama goes on but we're all there to help each other um it's having to believe in myself and to never give up um a lot of like the students and the teachers really helped me last year and last year was really hard for me so it's taught me to be very friendly because before i came here i was homeschooled and i didn't know much because i was <laughs> i was very shy and now i feel like i'm very open Working on Worst Prom Ever, I think even though the movie didn't turn out the best, it was um, it was still really fun to work on. Probably going to Homecoming. Me and my girlfriend walked in and it was like we were the movie stars and it was awesome and it was really fun. Okay, I was having a really rough time and I told Nolan and then I was like gone for a week doing treatment and stuff and I come back and Nolan pulls me into his office and he's like, hey, I know you're having a really rough time, so I got you hot Cheetos. I say some of my favorites would just be like the bus rides to and from the sports games, you know, basketball and soccer. Like spending times with the teams was really a good time with my high school experience, so I think those are my favorite memories. Probably flipping chairs in Sandy's class freshman year. It was pretty fun. <laughs> my favorite memory here was working on like the films last year where we made just like independent films, like small little ones. It was like really cool and just fun. The school concerts, because I've been in a lot of them, I think it's given me a chance to like show off my talent, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Tilos of my sophomore year. I made a lot of close bonds and we had a lot of fun together. It'll be something special for all seniors. It's like having the last memory of high school. I'm excited, but also sad, because knowing that the high school experience is almost over. It's sad, it hurts, I don't want to do it, but I know I need to, and it's gonna happen anytime. I'm gonna miss this school a lot. It, it was one of the reasons why I woke up in the morning. I mean, it makes me like feel sad, because knowing that I was only here for like a year, and just like leaving already, after like, you know, knowing how great like this school is, so yeah. I mean, it's bound to happen, right? But I'm excited to see 
it was on like really I don't know it's I'm excited to leave but and I'm ready to leave but it feels almost like there wasn't enough time to learn and to grow in such an amazing environment I'm sad but I'm prepared I feel like I can do what I want to do but it, I, I don't want to leave I'll miss hanging out with all the homies at lunch I'll miss Thomas I love you Thomas I'll miss the teachers a lot, at least some of them for sure. I don't know, <laughs> all of it. I, I'll miss Man Bear. I'll miss the basketball team the most because that's the people I hang out with. Just this pure interaction every day and you know, seeing people, I feel like that can be a nice thing to have every day. I'll miss everybody because I can't really choose one person. It's just everybody I will, I'll miss when I leave. Oh, I'm gonna miss Lara so much. <laughs> I'm gonna miss Lara so much. I'm gonna miss the most Sandy and Annie and Nicole because they've been there since my freshman year, so. Uh, don't be annoying. Think about what you're saying. Just quiet. Be, shush, be quiet. Uh, do your best to get work done. Don't leave things to the last minute. It doesn't matter what you look like, what you wear. It, just focus on school, get things done and then worry about what he said, she said type stuff. Like, yeah, you can always have fun here, but don't be distracted. Don't push things aside just because you can. Don't take your time here for granted. <laughs> really don't take it for granted. You're on borrowed time by the time you're seeing here, so just take it slow and enjoy yourself, really. Don't be disrespectful. I don't understand why it's so cool to be disrespectful. Will you please look at the camera and say goodbye East Hollywood? Goodbye East Hollywood. Mm, goodbye East Hollywood. 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 Peace out East Hollywood. Goodbye East Hollywood. Bye East Hollywood. Goodbye East Hollywood. Goodbye East Hollywood. Goodbye East Hollywood. Goodbye East Hollywood. Bye East Hollywood. Goodbye East Hollywood. Goodbye East Hollywood. Goodbye, 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 East Hollywood. Hi. Goodbye. Goodbye, East Hollywood. 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 Thank you for all the opportunities that you have given me. <laughs> Goodbye, East Hollywood. 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 Those is guys. Goodbye, East Hollywood. Thank you. I love you. <laughs> and you have given me more confidence, self-love, and more of a voice than anybody else has in my whole entire life. And I just want to say thank you and See you around because I don't want to say goodbye. <laughs>